Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Today, we are discussing impacts of corporate tax. I just wanted to give you a declaration. The lecture is based on our understanding of the press release and public consultation document issued by the Ministry of Finance of the United Arab Emirates. We have applied the understanding that we have developed from the best global practices in the various jurisdictions. This is not our official opinion. So recap of the lecture one. This is our previous lecture that we have delivered in our last webinar. These are the highlights that we have discussed that corporate tax was introduced by the Ministry of Finance. The press release was issued by the Ministry of Finance and joined 31st, 2022. It was written there that the, from the financial year starting on or after June 1st, 2023, corporate tax will be applicable. Though there is a possibility that the financial year starting from 1st of July, 2023, if the financial year of the companies are starting from the 1st of July 2023, then their tax period would be ending in June 38, 2024. Within the next nine months, companies will be liable to submit the return and they will be liable to make the payment. So the deadline for this case to submit the return and process the payments, it would be 31st March 2024. In this case, if the financial year is starting from 1st of October, then the year would be ending by 30th September 2024. They will be liable to submit the return and process the payment by the 30th June 2024. And if their financial year are starting from 1st of July 2024, then the business will be liable to submit the return by 30th September 2025. By that time, they will be liable to make the payment. They will be liable to submit the annual return as well. Then we'll discuss types and type and uh, tax and different taxes types. We'll discuss their direct tax. We'll discuss their indirect tax. We discussed that direct tax is a progressive tax. It can be proportional tax as well. Progressive tax is if the taxable income is going up, it will go up as well. And proportional tax is rate is constant. In case the income is going up, it will be applied with the constant rate. Of course, the amount of tax will go up as well. This is a prog progressive and proportional tax. Then the example we discussed, it was... Uh, income tax. This income tax can be corporate income tax. It can be personal income tax. You know, discuss wealth tax, then property tax, inheritance tax. These are different taxes applicable in different jurisdiction of the world. These are different types of direct taxes. Then we'll discuss indirect tax. Indirect tax are proportional in nature. These taxes are applicable on one party, but the ultimately burden goes to the other party. This is the reason that we call it as the indirect tax. And the different types of indirect taxes are VAT, excise, custom duty. These taxes are proportional in nature. Then we'll discuss taxable profits. We'll discuss that the VAT corporate tax will be applicable on the taxable profit. Corporate tax will not be applicable on the accounting profit. The businesses will be liable 
effort to convert their accounting profit, the profit as per IFRS into the taxable profit. Corporate tax will be applicable on the taxable profit. So taxable profit up to 375,000 will be zero rated in UAE. Any taxable profit beyond 375,000, it will be subject to tax at 9%. Key features of the UE corporate tax were discussed that individual's income will not be subject to tax. The income in the hands of the foreign investor will not be subject to tax. Withholding tax will not be applicable on the cross-border transactions. Extractions of natural resources will be subject to tax at the Emirates level. Capital gains and dividend will not be subject to tax. These are the general provisions based upon the public consultation document. We'll further discuss in detail once we'll discuss all these respective topics. Intra-group transaction will not be subject to corporate tax if the entities are holding one tax registration number. The proposed compliance requirements were the generally proposed compliance requirements like registration will be there, deregistration will be there, impact assessment business will be doing as usual. They will be calculating taxable profit, corporate tax will be applicable on the taxable profit. Businesses will be liable to submit the return on annually, annual basis within nine months from end of the respective tax period. And they will be liable to make the payment as well within nine months from the end of the respective tax period. So this is what we have discussed in our last lectures, in our last webinar. This is just a summary of our last webinar. Today we are discussing impacts of corporate tax. Key impacts of corporate tax, and we have segregated our lecture, today lecture into six different categories. We said what will be the impact on the businesses? What will be the impact on the shareholders? What will be the impact on of corporate tax on the foreign direct investment? What will be the impact of corporate tax on the individual's impacts on the government? What will be the benefits to the economy? These are the six categories in which we have tried to discuss what will be the impact of corporate tax once this corporate tax will be implemented. So let's start corporate impact of corporate tax on the businesses. So impact on the businesses, it depends basically business is in the free zone or business is in the mainland. Majority of the businesses which are in the free zone, these businesses will not be subject to corporate tax, subject to some certain conditions. Now, if the business is on the mainland, it depends this is a startup or this is a running business. We all know this government has given special incentives for the startups and new businesses, this is the reason the income, taxable income of the new business up to 375,000 will not be subject to corporate tax. If this is a running business, then we need to look into this. This is a loss making unit or this is a profit making unit. For the loss making unit, there are some provisions in the corporate tax. The businesses can carry forward their losses for unlimited time. These losses will be adjusted against the future taxable profits. We'll look into this in detail when we will discuss all these related topics. Now, if this is a one entity on the mainland, might be this is a group of entities. If this is a one entity on the mainland, so what will be the impact? Either this is the group, what will be the impact of the corporate tax on this? The first impact of the corporate tax on the business will be a reduction in the profits. A reduction in their assuming right now the business has a taxable profit of 500,000 and there no corporate tax this 500,000 is exactly going in the hand of the shareholder now tomorrow in case taxes are coming then 500,000 there are no corporate tax up to 375,000 the remaining amount 125,000 businesses will be liable to pay 9% on 125,000 means whatever is their profit, tax will have an impact on the net profit. Second, tax will have impact on the working capital as well. They, we know this, the working capital is equal to current assets less current liabilities. This cargo tax is liable to be paid to the government within nine months from the end of the relevant tax period. So since the tax is being is required to be paid within nine months from the end of the relevant tax period, so this is my short-term liability. So current assets less current liabilities, if my liability side is going up, ultimately it will create shortage of working capital. So businesses will be required to inject more money to bridge the gap of working capital. 
So what the groups will do, group, the same impact will be on the group as well. So group, the important thing is the group will see the option to restructure themselves. If there's some loss making units, there's some profit making units, they will try to take one registration number. The, bring, the groups will bring themselves under the one tax registration number, under the one umbrella. So the profits of one entity will be adjusted against the losses of another entity. They, at the end, they will be liable to pay lesser taxes to the government. So there is a possibility that the groups, if they are meeting certain requirements, certain conditions, these groups will go restructuring. They will go for under the one umbrella. They will go for one tax group to enjoy the benefits, and might be the administration cost will be lesser as well. So this is the reason that the businesses will go for grouping as well. Businesses will go for restructuring as well. Businesses will align their tax year with the respective financial year. This is another thing the businesses will do. It will impact on the businesses. Another important thing, implementation, training, bureaucratic cost, compliance costs, all these costs will be for the different businesses. So this will be a different admin cost for the businesses as well. Businesses will be required to hire the professional. They need to consult the profession. They need to provide them training. They need to submit the return. They need to process the payment. All these extra work will be for the businesses. So it, these will be the key major impact of the corporate tax on the businesses. What will be impact on the shareholders? Assuming they have one shareholder, shareholder is earning 100,000. Assuming 100,000 on annual basis. Now, if this corporate tax is being introduced, their taxable profit will come down. Once their taxable profits will come, sorry, once their taxable profit, where it will be, sorry, corporate tax will be applicable on the profit. So ultimately their profits will come down. What the business will do, they will try to maintain the same level of profit by doing the reverse working. Once they will try to maintain the same level of profit, they will increase their prices into the market. This is what I believe. They will increase the prices into the market. Once they are increasing the prices into the market, goods and services will become a little bit expensive into the market. Once these goods and services will become expensive, it will hit the purchasing power of the people because the, the purchasing power of the general public will come down. Prices will go up. Purchasing power will come down. Once this purchasing power will come down, ultimately it will impact on the demand. The Demand will come down. Once the demand will come down, production will come down. Once the production will come down, it will have a short term impact on the economy. So once it will have a short term impact on the economy, this will be short term pressure on the economy, but in the long run, the economy will become stable. So from the shareholders point of view, we can say they will try to increase the price to maintain the same level of profit. This increase in price will reduce the purchasing power of the people. Once this purchasing power will come down, then demand will come down. Once demand will come down, then growth will come down. Once growth will come down, it will have a short term impact on the economy. But in the long run, it will go to the stable economy. What will be the impact on foreign direct investment? Before coming discussing this foreign direct investment, I just wanted to see I wanted to show you this graph. This graph, you know, I've taken this from the uh, KPMG source, source is the KPMG, we've taken it from the Investopedia. These are the average corporate tax, which is applicable globally. You can see in the Oceania rate is going even around 30,000 Africa. This is approximately 30,000 Latin America. This is around 25, 30,000 South Africa, around 25, America around 25, 26, something like North Africa. This is even more than 20% globally. This is even more than 20%. OECD recommended more than 20%. Asia, more than 20%. European Union, European. So in all these areas of the world globally, average corporate tax is more than 20%. And we know this, government of UAE is going to implement only 9%. Just look into this slide as well. So what is the corporate rate applicable in Australia? In Australia, the corporate tax is 25%. Canada, this is 26.5%. China 16.5%, Germany 15%, Luxembourg, this is 24.9%, New Zealand, this is 28%, Russian Federation 20%, Switzerland, this is 14.93%. 
United States, this is 28%. So if we are looking in all these economies, so the rates is overall more than 20%. Yes, Karen. There is no. Sorry, guys. So, what we were discussing, heading back very quickly, we we'll discussed, we are recap on this lecture, we we'll discuss announcement, we are discussing types of text, we we'll discuss taxable. First, we will discuss key features of UE Corporal. We will discuss in our previous webinar. Then discuss what will be the impact of corporate tax on the economy. We will discuss the impact of corporate tax on the business, shareholders, foreign direct investment, individuals. We discussed that
Just something is. Other options are the camera and the mic of the laptop, speaker of the laptop. Hello? 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 Yes, hello. Hello? I know it is uh, audible. Okay. I think there's some issue. No one is talking sir, from the first participant. Yeah, and this is working now. Yes, now it's good. Okay, we can put it down this way. Sorry guys, once again, apologies. Hello, can you hear me now? Hello? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, okay so, now. Hey guys, sorry for this honesty, this is a technology and uh, uh, there's some sort of issue in the system and some sort of, I think the internet or what not stable as well. So this is what the reason that we we're facing some sort of issues. So we'll discuss.
So discussed what will be the impact So what will be the impact of carpo tax on the businesses? We have discussed the impact depends upon the businesses are in the free zone or the business or the startup businesses. These are the loss making units. Uh, this is one entity, a group of entity. We have discussed in detail what will be the impact of carpo tax on such businesses. And then we we'll discussed what was the impact of carpo tax on the business. We we'll discussed impact will be on the working capital reduction in profits. Businesses will be required to do the restructuring. Business will be required to do the alignment of tax here with the financial year. Along with this, businesses will there will be cost some sort of cost for the implementation, training, and bureaucratic cost for the businesses. What is the impact of car products on the shareholder? What is that? We discussed that the shareholder will try to maintain the same level of profit. They will increase the prices. Price increase will lead to a reduction in the purchasing power of the people. When the purchasing power will reduce, demand will reduce, demand will reduce, ultimately growth will reduce. It will be a short-term impact on the on the market, but in the long run, it will give a confidence to the investor and shareholder into the market that we discussed in detail. Then we we'll discuss foreign direct investment. Before going into the foreign direct investment, we have discussed what is the corporate tax. We have discussed this average corporate tax. Globally, this is more than 20%. Now discuss the corporate tax is applicable in Australia. This is 25%. Canada, this is 26%. China, this is 16%. France, Germany, Italy, all these countries, you can see the corporate tax is almost 20 or more than 20%. Then we we'll discuss what is the carport tax current rate applicable in the GCC country. In the Bahrain, carport tax is 0%. Kuwait, this is 15%. Oman, this is 15%. Qatar, 10%. And Saudi Arabia, the rate is 20%. And the rate that is being implemented in the UAE, the rate is only 9%. So this is the reason that I have written that government is highly competitive. Since the rate announced with the government is highly competitive into the market, moreover, Free zone businesses almost it will not be subject to corporate tax. Dividend and capital gains will not be subject to set. So it will not have any major impact on the foreign direct investment in the UAE. What will be the impact on the individuals as we just discussed from the shareholder point of view? They will increase the prices. Once they will increase the price, goods and services will become slightly expensive into the market. Once they expensive into the market, it will have an impact on the purchasing power of the consumers. Salaried people will ask a certain increase in the salaries and the goods and services will become slightly expensive for the individuals. What will be the impact on the government? Before going and discussing in detail, what will the impact of car tax on the government? Just look into this example. This is a diagram that is shown for the UK. I have taken from the UK government side. They say the UK government revenue is forecasted 819 billion pounds for 2021 and 22. 819 billion pounds, 800 billion pounds is that expected revenue of the government. Out of this 800 billion pounds, only 88 billion pounds they are getting from the other than taxes. Remaining around 90% of the revenue of the UK government is from the taxes. And these taxes can be in the form of VAT, it can be in the form of income tax, it can be in the form of council tax, corporation tax, excise DOT, the other different types of taxes, national insurance tax. So what I'm trying to say is corporate tax and taxes globally are the major source of income for the government. If these governments are collecting money from the people in the form of taxes. Again, the government is spending such type of money on the people for their betterment. So what I've written over here, government taxes are the major source of revenue for the government. Like that, corporate tax will become another source of major income for the UAE government. They would spend this income for the welfare of the public, for developing world-class infrastructure that we have already, hospitals, roads, medical facilities. It would reduce reliance on the oil-generated economy. Basically, it will bring diversification in the economy as well. So it will be the major benefits to the government. Moreover, government will be able to harmonize itself with the international best practices 
what is the impact on the economy impact on the economy depends we are discussing the short run circle a long run circle either discuss earlier but in the short run there will be pressure on the economy because it will be a short term hamper of growth for the passage of time but in the long run it will create a stable society it will prosperant economy where the businesses would contribute and add value for the growth of the economy so again what is the way forward for the for the for the businesses they need to do the impact assessment they need to train their staff they need to impact on their work calculate the impact on their working capital they need to restructure themselves if they are part of the big group moreover if they are doing the cross border transactions for the cross border transaction they need to implement the transfer pricing strategies they need to go for the benchmarking to charge to the related party or connected person at the arm um, length price thank you very much for joining us in case you have any question we are happy to take your question even right now in case you have any further questions you can contact us at info@cresco.com you can give us a call as well i would be happy to reply personally thank you very much thank you let me go through your questions okay nadim yes you can hear us okay I think there's no typical question. We explained everything in detail. If you have any question, as I mentioned, you can drop me an email. For sure, I'll come back. Once again, apologies for this. That I have some sort of issue with the internet. Internet was not stable. Might be the laptop was connected. The same account was open in other laptop as well. The system was switching by itself. So, can we get the slides? Just drop me an email, and uh, definitely I will share the slides as well. No problem at all. if any other question did free zone companies are exempt from corporate tax as i highlighted free zone the corporate tax is not applicable on the free zone companies majority of the cases but these are subject to related some some terms and conditions if the companies are fulfilling those terms and conditions then their income will not be subject to corporate tax if they are not if they are not complying with the certain condition then their income will be subject to corporate tax my email address you are asking it is reflecting on the screen this is info at crescooper.com you can drop us an email i'll come back to you any other question i got your email definitely i'll send it to you thank you very much thank you have a lovely evening guys thank you very much thank you take care thank you bye bye